At the heart of Paris, in the iconic Bercy Arena, gymnast Jordan Childs stepped in with a mission to rewrite her Tokyo story. The air was electric with anticipation. After months of rigorous training, perfecting her Beyoncé-inspired floor routine, Jordan seemed ready for redemption. But sometimes, even the best laid plans can be derailed. Let's dive into Jordan Childs' journey at the Paris Olympics and uncover how she came so close, yet faced an unexpected heartbreak. Since the Tokyo Olympics, where Jordan faced the disappointment of not qualifying for the individual finals, she's been on a relentless quest to make her mark. Tokyo was tough, with mistakes, on the balance beam and uneven bars costing her dearly. Determined to bounce back stronger, Jordan dedicated countless hours to the gym, honing her skills and perfecting her routines. Her training was grueling, focusing on both physical conditioning and mental resilience. The Paris Olympics were Jordan's chance for redemption, expectations were high, and the narrative was set. This was her moment to shine. First up was the balance beam. Jordan started strong, but a slight wobble on her front aerial and another check on her backhand spring layout step out created a tense moment. Despite these minor hiccups, she completed her routine with a score of 13.6. Not perfect, but a solid start. Next, the floor exercise. Here, Jordan truly came into her own. With a Beyoncé-inspired routine, she captivated both the audience and judges. Her performance was filled with energy, charisma, and challenging moves. Her final score for the floor exercise? An impressive 13. 86. Finally, Jordan's routine was a mix of precision and grace. A moment of suspense occurred when she seemed a bit far on her pack salto, but she recovered beautifully. She finished strong, earning a score of 14.6. It was clear she had refined her skills and gained the consistency needed for top-level competition. But then came the two-per-country rule, a regulation that can feel pretty harsh. This rule limits the number of gymnasts from each nation who can advance to the finals, aiming to prevent dominant countries from sweeping the medals. Despite placing fourth overall in the all-around qualifications, Jordan was the third highest scorer from Team USA, behind Simone Biles and Suni Lee. This meant she wouldn't advance to the finals a gut-wrenching realization for both Jordan and her fans. The disappointment was palpable, but Jordan Childs is no stranger to resilience. Reflecting on her journey, she acknowledged her progress and the hard work she put in since Tokyo. The gymnastics community had mixed reactions. Some were outraged, feeling the rule robbed Jordan of a deserved spot in the finals. Others defended it, arguing, it promotes diversity and gives athletes from less dominant countries a chance to shine. Despite the setback, there's a silver lining. Jordan qualified for the floor exercise finals, and she's not done yet. Her journey continues, and she remains a beacon of inspiration for many. Jordan Child's story is far from over. Stay tuned, and let's support her as she continues to strive for greatness. If you enjoyed this deep, dive into Jordan Child's Olympic journey. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on your favorite athletes. Comment below with your thoughts on the two-per-country rule. Do you think it's fair?